Hello everyone, I'm Tronic. Today, I'm going to introduce you a brand new multi-pass rendering system. This system has firstly been introduced in Maya 2009. Some say the terms render less and the render passes are occasionally used interchangeably. However, this is inaccurate. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to extract the render passes out of Maya and composite them with After Effects. Okay, now, first of all, please go to Render Layer. You can see a master layer is right here. Okay, now uh, click this button to display render settings window. Okay, go to render using, select Monterey. Okay, now please remember you are only allowed it to create render passes through use of Monterey rendering engine. Okay, now go to file name prefix. Then right click. Insert layer name. Slash. Right click. Insert pass name. Slash. Right click again. Insert pass name. OK. Now please select teeth as image format. OK, now I'm going to create render passes. So go to Passes tab. Then click this button to create a new render pass. Now please hold your control key and select Ambient Occlusion. Diffuse without shadows. Direct irradiance without shadows. Indirect. Matte. Reflection. Shadow. And specular without shadows. OK. Then, create and close. OK, now please click this button to associate them. OK, now uh, I'm going to enable ambient occlusion rendering function. So, go to Features tab and Select Ambient Occlusion. OK. Now, go to Indirect Lighting tab. Then, go to Ambient Occlusion. Now, uh, please decrease the number of rays to accelerate the rendering speed. In this tutorial, I'm going to set this number to 128. OK. Now, close this window. Then, go to Rendering. Render. Batch Render. OK, now. The only thing that you need to do is waiting for the rendering consequences. OK, job done. Lovely. As you can see, we've got the ambient occlusion, diffuse without shadow, direct irradiance, indirect, master beauty, ma. Reflection, 
shadow, and the specular without shadows. Okay, now、uh, I'm going to show you how to composite them with After Effects. Okay, first of all, please import all of the render passes from the hard drive. Okay, as you can see, all of the render passes have been imported. Now create a new composition. Name it Core Precomp. Then set background color. I'm going to set the background color to black. Okay. Then click OK. Now,、uh, please click and drag diffuse without shadow pass to here. Okay. Then click and drag shadow pass to here. Now. Please set the blending mode of shadow pass. The shadow pass should be on difference. Okay. Now please click and drag direct irradiance to here, and it should be on darken. Okay. Now, ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion should be on multiply. Okay. Then indirect. Indirect pass should be on eight. Okay. Then reflection pass. This pass should be on screen. Then specular pass. Specular pass should be on eight. Okay. Now, ah,、uh, as you can see, the background color is. Black. However, the background of the beauty pass is white. So it means we have some work to do. Okay. Now, create a new composition. Name it Car Final Comp. Okay. Click OK. Then create a new solid background and、uh, set the background color to white. Okay. Click OK. Then click and drag this composition to here. Then click and drag matte pass to here. Okay, now please click here to hide mat pass. Now select this composition. Go to Effect Channel. Set mat. Then go to Tag mat from layer. Select mat. Then use for mat luminance. Okay, as you can see, here has a black line, so we have to remove it. Okay, select this composition. Go to effect again.、Um, channel. Remove color matting. 
Okay, not bad, but not good enough. Go to effect again. Mat. Refine mat. Okay, now you should have a new 3D composition that matches your rendering consequences. That's it. I hope this tutorial would be helpful, and thanks for your watching.